Welcome to The Educator. My name is Martin Buerta. Please enjoy this presentation. In this presentation, we are taking a look at the poem Felix Randall by Gerard Mandy Hopkins. What do you expect from a poem with the title Felix Randall? Usually we think of the denotative meaning as well as the connotative meaning. In this case, the title of the poem is a person's name. So maybe it's about a specific person. We'll have to see. Felix Randall by Gerard Manley Hopkins. Felix Randall, the farrier. Oh, he is dead then? My duty all ended. Who have watched his mold of man, big boned and hardy handsome, pining, pining, Till time when reason rambled in it, and some fatal four disorders fleshed there, all contended. Sickness broke him, impatient he cursed at first, but mended being anointed and all, though a heavenlier heart began some months earlier, since I had our sweet reprieve and ransom tended to him. Ah oh, well, God rest him, all road ever he offended. This seeing the sick endears them to us, us too it endears. My tongue had taught thee comfort, touch had quenched thy tears, thy tears that touched my heart, child, Felix, poor Felix Randall. How far from then thought, forethought of all thy more boisterous years, when thou at the random grim forge, powerful amidst peers, didst fettle for the great dray horse, his bright and battering sandal. Let us take a closer look at the first four lines of this poem. Felix Randall, Randall the farrier. Oh, he is dead then? My duty all ended. Who have watched his mould of man, big boned and hardy handsome, pining, pining, till time when reason rambled in it, and some fatal four disorders fleshed there, all contended. We'd now take a look at the second stanza. Sickness broke him. Impatient he cursed at first, but mended being anointed and all. Though a heavenlier heart began some months earlier, since I had our sweet reprieve and ransom tended to him. Ah, well, God rest him all road ever he offended. This seeing the sick endears them to us, us too it endears. My tongue had taught thee comfort, touch had quenched thy tears, thy tears that touched my heart, child, Felix, poor Felix Randall. We come now to the last stanza. How far from then forethought of all thy more boisterous years, when thou at the random grim forge, powerful amidst peers, didst fettle for the great grey dray horse his bright and battering sandal. When we look at the form and structure, this poem is an Italian sonnet divided into an octave and a sestet 
with a traditional rhyme scheme. Some poetic devices that we find in the poem is repetition in lines 3 and 9, personification in line 11, and then the contrast between the previous healthy, strong man and the weak, dying man in the end. Sound devices that we find in the poem is alliteration in lines 2 to 4, 7 to 8, and also in line 14. In line 14, we also have an example of onomatopoeia. Felix Randall by Gerard Mandy Hopkins. Felix Randall, the farrier. Oh, he is dead then? My duty all ended. Who have watched his mould of man, big boned and hardy handsome, pining, pining, till time when reason rambled in it, and some fatal four disorders fleshed there, all contended. Sickness broke him. Impatient, he cursed at first, but mended being anointed at all. Though a heavenlier heart began some months earlier, since I had our sweet reprieve and ransom tended to him. Ah, well, God rest him all road ever he offended. This seeing the sick endears them to us, us too it endears. My tongue had taught thee comfort, touch, had quenched thy tears, thy tears that touched my heart, child, Felix, poor Felix Randall. How far from then forethought of all thy more boisterous years, when thou at the random grim forge, powerful amidst peers, didst fettle for the great grey dray horse his bright and battering sandal. Thank you for watching The Educator. My name is Martin Boerta. Please subscribe to the channel on YouTube for more presentations.